Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is AJ and welcome to my travel log. Join me as I make memories and explore the most beautiful and amazing destinations in the world. Hi guys, welcome back to my second part of my Singapore vlog. Join me as I continue to explore the uniqueness of Singapore. Let's go! This was another first for me when I visited Singapore back in 2011. Wala pang gardens by the way. It was just built in 2012 and this was created by Singaporeans with a vision of having a city in a garden. Super cool, right? And if you're really a nature lover person, you will really love it. Oops, mali pala. So, follow the leader tayo. I thought we were heading straight, going to Science Museum. I really like this walkway, which makes me think, ang sarap siguro to run early in the morning with someone. Char. <laughs> there we go, approaching the uh, Arts Museum. Finally, we've arrived at the Arts Museum. The design seems to mimic the lotus flower, Deva, right? But actually, it is referred as Welcoming Hand of Singapore. It makes sense nga naman. Look at the 10 extensions, which looks like at the 10 fingers. Ang galing, right? So we are going to the Arts Museum. Pagpasok pa lang, the first word that would come out is wow. And yes, my inner child came out. I was so amazed how stunning this is to my eyes. First exhibit pa lang, and what more the rest. Welcome to Future World, where art meets science. There are different installations you're about to see. Right now, we are in Transcending Boundaries Artworks. This composed of six artworks, and this is more of a natural environment digitally showcased. If you notice the image on the wall, connecting and entering to a different space of another, like breaking boundaries. Kids and kids at heart will definitely enjoy this. This is called the 100 years, showing the elegance of Asian art plus scientific data. This illustrates the increasing sea level over a period of 100 years. And now, the Sketch Aquarium. This installation features digitally aquatic world of underwater animals. So in this part naman, this is the uh, proliferating immense of life. A whole year per year. Yes, this showcased the life of the flowers as they gently bloom in our four seasons of the year. They grow, bloom, and eventually they wither and fade away. 
nakakatuwa siya kasi because this installation is interactive like pag ginalaw mo yung flower the petals will scatter and if you just stay still it will grow and bloom Continuing the city and the garden, we are about to explore new frontiers. Just the autonomous abstraction, continuous phenomena from the universe to the self. According to the team lab, the dots of light blink and change color in cycles uniquely to each other. A spontaneous order phenomenon occurs between dots that are close to each other and their use and the rhythm at which they blink gradually synchronize. This is the area climbing through a flock of colored birds. There are bars suspended by a rope, making it look like it's floating in the space. There are birds flying as well, and medyo nakakahilo siya. Parang the power of illusion works here. You can choose any route or any bars you step on as long as you can go to the end of the passage. And this is the sketch flight. We just passed this exhibit. Uh, and this is the last installation, the Crystal Universe. This showcase infinite number of light points inside the Crystal Universe, bringing you into an illusion of stars moving in space. Now on this place, medyo mahaba pila, and this has time window that you need to be quick getting the best post and videos you could.
now back to the outside world. Medyo maliwanag ng ating video guys. I still love walking around here kahit medyo mainit. Push pa rin natin ang paglalakay. The views and the surroundings, you're gonna enjoy it. Going to our next attraction, which is the Cloud Forest and the Flower Dome. So, as you can see, um, na -na -na -na. look. One of the best attractions is the man-made waterfalls. This is a 35 meter tall, surrounded with green plants from around the world. So as usual, madami na kapila dito for photo shoot. Ikaw na bahala, san ka pupuesto? Super galing, no? Look how creative and meticulously made this. Looks so natural, feeling more you are really in the forest. The place is so huge and you really need to wear comfortable shoes. Wag nyo na po kong gayahin. I'm using this Samba shoes which is really not good for walking. Pamporma lang talaga. So in this part, it is I believe the start of the flower dome. You will see various flowering plants from around the world, especially different kinds of orchids. That's one thing that I noticed. The cloud forest is covered with not just an ordinary glass, but it is designed for the sun to penetrate, which is really good for the plants. Pero wag ka sa loob, naka aircon po siya, char. Pero the temperature inside is really maintained in order for the plants to survive. There is also this part where you can see a lot of cacti. Super ganda nila, especially the small cactus that are growing from a fallen tree. If you are plantitos and plantitas, you will definitely love this place. While we are waiting for the light show in Super Grove Tree, tambay muna dito and with a view of the Marina Bay Sands. Hanggang view muna tayo for today's video. It was funny that night because I thought the show will be cancelled since it started to rain. But after a few minutes, they started the show earlier because it started so much. And here I go, enjoy the light show.
So, dito muna magtatapos ang aking vlog. And I'll see you on my part 3 Singapore vlog. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss new videos.